Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you the five best camera apps for Android. Now, these five apps stood out for their unique abilities. They each offer something that your standard pre installed stock camera app doesn't necessarily offer. What's even better though is that all five of these apps are absolutely free on the Google Play Store. So if you're interested in any of them, just head to the Google Play Store and search them by name, or you can go to the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to get a direct link to all the download pages. But first up, we have the Google Camera app. This one's pretty standard, pretty basic, but it does offer some rather unique functionality. Uh, for starters, you get a nice point and shoot camera interface with some basic adjustments that you can make. But the interesting stuff is this photosphere mode which allows you to take 360 degree panoramic photos of your entire environment which is actually a killer feature honestly the second unique shooting mode it has is lens blur which is a fake sort of tilt shift done with software and moving your phone basically you just hit the shutter button then raise your phone a bit and this allows you to selectively focus anywhere in the photo basically so Google Camera is one of the best options out there if you want those unique functions, but let's see what the others have to offer. Next up is Camera FV5. Basically this one's biggest feature here is the fact that it uses Android 5.0's new Camera 2 API, which means you've got tons of manual controls. You can set the exposure, the ISO, the focus distance, just about anything with this one. So basically it's a great option if you like to have manual control over your photos. Next on our list is ViscoCam, which is a very sophisticated camera and photo editing app. Basically, any picture you take with this one can be shared on their social media site or edited with their awesome filters here. The camera portion itself is actually pretty simple. You have a menu button here that allows you to adjust certain controls, but mostly it's a point and shoot with a focus on editing most of the stuff after the fact. Now, fourth on our list is a pretty interesting one called Camera 51. This one basically analyzes the scene that you're in and finds the best spot for you to center your camera. You basically line up the smartphone icon with the square on the screen to get the best shot. And then you know you're obeying rule of thirds and all that good stuff. Then finally, we have a better camera, which is a perfect option if you like additional shooting modes. One of the most interesting options here is this DRO mode, which gets you great white balance and exposure balance no matter what the scene. Then of course, there are a bunch of shooting modes. So you've got these presets that you can just put the camera mode into and bam, you're off and shooting. Really though, with any of these camera apps, you can't go wrong. But for the full breakdown on each of them, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.